Hi everyone, it's me. So, what the hell is a pierogi? Canada does not have a cuisine. There, I said it. Canada doesn't have a cuisine. I've said it a second time. So as a Canadian now, temporarily living in Canada, what do Canadians eat? That's a good question. Most of the time we eat other cultures' food because you have to. There's no other option. And one of the things I always liked having back home here in Ontario are pierogies. Now what are they? Here's some random images I found online of what pierogies look like. Yum! So for those of you who came here looking for a pierogi recipe, you've come to the wrong place. This is not what this is. <laughs> Absolutely not. For those of you who have seen me before, who subscribe, hi, it's nice to see you. This is my parents' kitchen back in Ontario. If you watched my last video, you would have known that I have left England temporarily to apply for a new visa, um, and so that's happening. But while that happens, I have to be here in beautiful, snowy Ontario. It is snowing outside. I'll show you that probably right now. Look at all that snow. Are we in the Arctic or is this hell? I am unsure. So what is the purpose of this video? I am going to make some pierogies. We are going to chat and just hang out. I hope you enjoy. So without further ado, let's go. Now, as a further ado, my parents' kitchen is wonderful. There are a lot of giant windows, and it is very bright in here, and I look, oh, look at the sun's coming in, just as I'm speaking about it. So um, just go ahead and ignore that. <laughs> just the light's gonna be changing, we're roughing it. However, I did buy a tripod off of Amazon because I couldn't bring my tripod from England. So at least we have that, right? We're trying, okay, bear with me. So for pierogies, I have these frozen pierogies. You knew, you knew what this was. We ain't making homemade pierogies. Are you kidding me? Absolutely not. So pierogies are basically like a little, let me show you. This is a pierogi in its frozen state. Looks a bit sad, doesn't it? It's just a pastry package stuffed with goodness, hopefully. Now, the one thing that's concerning is I haven't had these in a really long time and I don't know if they're as good as I remember them. Now for today's pierogies, these made with real potato, that's a good sign. It has potato, bacon, and Romano cheese inside. So that's exciting. It's usually a combination of potato, cheese, maybe a meat, that sort of thing. The other thing, um, a lot of, okay, what am I trying to say? On my video where I explained that I was leaving England and to let me know some Canadian content ideas, a lot of you guys said we'd love to know what you eat, we'd love to know what Canada's like, so this is kind of like both of those things. But one thing that I um, wanted to point out, so I'm still jet lagged, can you tell? Canada has two official languages, English and French. That means packaging needs to have English and French. So that kind of sucks because it makes everything look ugly. There, I said it. French on boxes make things look ugly. There, I said it a second time. So zero trans fat, zero cholesterol, low in fat, all have to have the French counterpart. And then the bacon or cheese all has to have the French counterpart. So packaging just ends up looking like really messy and not very nice, okay? There, I said it. Now Chimo is an actual, it says a Canadian family owned company using wholesome ingredients grown by Canadian farmers. I'm sure you could probably get pierogies in the UK if you go to like the international section because I'm, I wanna say pierogies are Polish but Canada loves them for whatever reason. Now there's two main ways you can cook pierogies and there is only one right way. Are you listening? The first way is you can boil pierogies, you know, pop them in a big old bowl. That's not what you do. You put them in a pot and you boil them, but then when they come out, they are like, like wet and soft and not right. The other way is you pan fry them, which is what we are going to do. I mean, 
I've done it before where I've boiled them and then I've pan fried them just to brown them up, but you can just straight pan fry them. So, I mean, it's been many years since I've done this, but how difficult can it be? Probably very. Now, if you're going to fry them, you need to cover the bottom of the pan either with oil or butter. I'm going with Canadian salted butter because calories. Who cares? Am I right? Now, I do just want to say a huge thank you. Wow, here comes the sun. I have been overwhelmed with how kind everyone has been on my last video about leaving England. I've had donations, I've had people sign up to my Patreon, I've had people email me like wishing me well and everything and that has just been like crazy and wonderful and very overwhelming and absolutely fantastic. So I just want to say thank you so much, that's very kind. This is my first week back in Canada. Um, I'm still jet lagged, I still feel weird, things are overwhelming, but we're getting there. And plus, we're going to have pierogies at some point, so life is looking up. Now how many do we want? Is the whole box a bit too many? Probably. The other thing I just wanted to mention, there's a lot of misconceptions about people coming to the UK on visas and stuff. Um, on my last video, so many people were like, why don't you just marry someone or marry a, a viewer and then you can just be here permanently. And that is actually not a thing. I don't know if people know that, but even if you marry another nationality, you still have to apply for a visa. You don't just like, hey, what's up? I'm coming over. Like, that's not a thing. So if you were British and you uh, married a Canadian and you decided you wanted to live in Canada with your spouse, you still have to apply for a visa. So I'm just saying that. Other people said you should just get British citizenship, then you can be here as long as you want. I do not qualify for British citizenship, so that is why I have not done that. But thank you anyway. Thank you guys for all your kind wishes and stuff. It's very sweet. Um, there was just some misconceptions about visas. That's all. Anyway, how's things going? I know things are, you know, wow, it's so bright here. I forgot how bright it is in Ontario, especially with the coating of snow. The sun just like reflects. It's like, wow, my eyes aren't used to this much light. I'm a chef now. Now, other Canadian food, um, people were asking, Nanamo bars, which I've already made. You can go way back in my YouTube catalog and probably find that. We also have poutine, which is like the big one that people know, oh, you're going to Canada, you should make poutine. Poutine sucks. There, I said it. Poutine is really gross. I've said it a second time. It's really not good. That's probably a third time. So I might make poutine just to show you guys, but I don't like it. And I honestly can't think of any other Canadian cuisine. So that sucks. Otherwise, life is continuing on here in Canada. I got some ideas. I want to show you guys more of Ontario. I do a lot of comparison videos, so it's kind of nice to sort of refresh my memory what Canada is really like. And we're going to have some pierogies. Have you had pierogies? Leave a comment down below if you had pierogies. I'm just kidding. I would like to know though. You can leave a comment. Also, if you haven't subscribed, you can do that too. I'm not going to say that again because it's really gross, but be cool if you subscribed. Anywho, what do you want to talk about? Now, personally, pierogies are best when crunchy and brown and hard, you know, they're not soft and soggy gross, but you also need to dip them in sour cream. It's the best. All right, I'm telling you. Now, for all the British viewers, here's your homework. Go to your locally, locally, no. Go to your local grocery store. Go to the international foods aisle. Find Poland. They should have pierogies or something that looks like pierogies. Go ahead and buy some. Try it. Make sure you also get sour cream to dip it in and tell me what you think. That's everybody's homework. Make sure you hand it in by Tuesday of next week. We're ready for eating. Come with me and let's have lunch. Now here's our pierogies fried in butter because calories. Am I right? Pull up a stool, have a seat, let's chat. This is a spare battery just in case this dies, but a little behind the scenes footage for you guys. All right, let's do this. 
Cheers. Yes. Oh my goodness. Pierogies, just like I remembered. Fried potato and cheese and bacon. Literally, how could you go wrong? It's like my three favorite food groups. Now, how about I show you one other thing that's not related to this video at all. You guys always make fun of me for this. That Canada, and more specifically Ontario, has bagged milk, all right? This is a thing that happens. Why? I don't know. I don't know why we have it. I'm sure there was a reason at some point, but I am unsure. Yum. Anywho, um, these pierogies are fabulous. I got my bagged milk. I got my snow outside. I have impending doom surrounding me and my everyday thoughts, but at least I have pierogies. Yes. Yes, that is good. Wow, I need sunglasses just to be in here. Cheers. Happy. Thank you, Poland. I'm actually not totally sure pierogies are Polish. I probably should have checked that. Anywho, thank you so much for watching this, whatever this was. Was it a video? I'm not sure. Thank you again to everybody for their kind wishes of me spending time here in Canada. I thank you. I miss you. I appreciate you still being here. I've got loads of Canadian ideas that I want to share with you guys and show how Canada is different from the UK. And I hope that you guys will watch them. Okay, please. Please watch them. I think that's it for me. Cheers one more time. Cheers to bag milk. Cheers to pierogies. And... I, want, I, I hope you have a great day. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye. I'm gonna eat the rest of these. But I can't do it on camera because it's too embarrassing, okay.